God have to be applied. Right. Except this one law was done away with because we were committing sin after the sacrifice. So all of the laws of God have to be applied. Right. Except this one law was done away with because we were committing sin after the sacrifice was made. Right. We were still going out committing sin. This is why Christ had to come. To show us that in this flesh, which is weak, you can perfect this flesh if you keep the laws of God. Oh, if you walk Lord. according to the laws of God and apply what God has written, you can perfect this flesh. You can perfect your life in this flesh. So, all anyway... All praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone that rule well through the scriptures. Peace to the 144,000 and the rest of the hopeful elect on the brother Kaya from GMS Indianapolis, branch of Indiana. The other two camps is GMS It Will Not Terry 2, that's the Gary branch, and GMS Bloomington 444, that's the Bloomington branch. I first heard this clip from um GMS austere man uh first words that came to my uh two words came to my um head and those words were nigga please all right he said you can perfect this flesh all right now i'm not going to get a whole lot of scriptures i'm going to get the scriptures that came to mind You know, I, I, I thought of like a good two or three, which that's all you really need, two or three. Let me see. I'm at Romans 7 and 17. Now then, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. So sin is in us. Okay. Sin is in us. When Adam fell, okay? Matter of fact, matter of fact, let's jump to Romans 8. Let me see. Uh, uh, Romans 8 and 20. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who have subjected the same in hope. What does it mean to be made subject to vanity? What is vanity? All right, vanity is sin. Vanity is, is falsehood, lies. It's something that's empty. It's not true. So as the, the creature, the most highest creation, we were made subject to that, meaning what? We was made with the ability to sin or to go off. All right? Let's see. Let's read Romans 8 and 20 in another version. Let's see how this is just, you know. I want to see what they got for subject to vanity. This is the NLT. I ain't going to do too much. Against this will. All creation was subjected to the most highest curse, but with eager hope. Yeah, well, that's going into the ability to sin. All right. Now, let's type in. Uh, let's see. Let's see. This is uh, Ezekiel 36 and 26. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you, and I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you an heart of flesh. The stony heart, stone, represents you having the ability to go off. These are all analogies for sinning, okay? A stony heart or a fleshly heart. All right. Stone represents death. All right. Is a stone alive or dead? Right. 
A fleshy heart represents life. Okay? So the stony heart represents your ability to sin. And what comes of that? Death. The fleshy heart represents uh, the ability to not sin. And what comes with that? Eternal life. All right? You can't perfect. You can't perfect the. Uh, first of all, you can't perfect this flesh because th this flesh itself is corrupt. The scripture says what? An unclean thing cannot look. See. What's that? Job. I was in there a couple of times. Let me see. Let's get the one in Job, though. Was it? I want to say thirteen. Might not even be thirteen. Let's see, Job. That's good. Job fourteen and four. Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one, okay? You can't perfect this flesh. You can keep the, 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 the laws and the statutes and the commandments to the best of your ability, all right? And that's, uh, that's, just, that's just part of the process. Because uh, Judges 5 and 11 says what? Judges 5 and 11. They that are delivered from the noise of archers in the places of drawing water, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of his villages in Israel. Then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates. Right. So the point was rehearse the righteous acts of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Here we are rehearsing them. All right, we can't keep them in this perfection. Hell, I'll pull that video up. This dude, okay, you know, you know it, it appears this dude get lines up occasionally. All right? Now, let's say per chance he don't. Okay, fine. But the rest of your body don't. Israel united in Christ. You guys don't put you guys don't apply the laws that you can apply. Scripture says thou shalt not destroy or it says mar. Thou shalt not mar the edge. Let's I'll grab that. You want to talk about keeping the law. Okay. Could have swore I said, uh, yeah, this is Leviticus 21 and 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head, neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard, nor make any cuttings in their flesh. Yeah, they shave off the, uh, uh, the corner of their beards, right? It's another one. Um, it's another one that says mar. Because when you look up mar, it means destroy. But anyway, that was the point. Y'all, yeah, IOIC, look, man. They, look, these people, they be tripping. This camp right here, they tripping, man. This is Matthew's 5 yeah, and 13. They talking about, she... you, can, you can perfect this flesh. Let me grab something else. I grabbed the scripture where it started off. It said, matter of fact, get back to the Paul. We, we, Romans 7, uh, 17 again. Now then, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. Right. The sin that dwells in us from the beginning, the way that the Lord made us. I grabbed the Romans 8 and 20. The creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by the same who, but by him who subjected the same in hope. 
All right? So by you saying you could perfect this flesh, you could perfect this flesh by keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, where is your need for Yahweh Shai? You saying you don't need Yahweh Shai by doing that. Because Yahweh Shai is our intercessor because we because of our imperfection, because we can't keep it. All right. Didn't Peter go off? Did Peter did Peter perfect the, this flesh? Didn't he deny Yahweh Shai three times? Wasn't he being hypocritical during the time of uh, Acts with the Jews and the Gentiles? How he would be, uh, he would hang out and kick it with the Gentiles in secret. All right. And then Paul had to address him about that. Did 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 oh. <laughs> Are you are you are you more righteous than Peter <laughs> now than he was then? He had no, Peter won't wear Peter wasn't wearing mixed fabrics. Peter didn't have to worry about uh buying organic. Ship everything was organic. Most things. Peter didn't have to worry about uh 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 uh, pork and uh, shellfish in his uh, lotion products and in his shampoo products. See? Right, so anyway, Romans 7 and uh, 18. For I know that in me, that is, that is, in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. For to will is present with me, but how to perform... That which is good, I find not right because you want to do right, but there's that there's that other there's that other notion there, right? And that notion is not going to be taken away until we changed. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Uh, First Corinthians 15 and 52. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption. And this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. Right. So perfection equals immortality. He talking about you can perfect this flesh. If you can perfect this flesh, then that means you can't die. Perfection equals immortality. Okay? This flesh is, is mortal and it's corruptible. For you, to be, for you to be perfect, that means you are incorruptible and you are immortal. And what makes you immortal and mortal? What makes you immortal and incorruptible? Okay. Wisdom of Solomon 6 and 18. And love is the keeping of her laws and the giving heed unto her laws is the assurance of incorruption. Right? And incorruption maketh us near unto the Most High. Therefore, the desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. Right? So... Let me see. Let me see. Let me see.
Right, they got one. Ciroc's, uh Sirach 17 and 14. And he said unto them, Beware of all unrighteousness. And he gave every man commandment concerning his neighbor. Their ways are ever before him and shall not be hid from his eyes. Every man from his youth is given to evil. Neither could they make to themselves fleshy hearts for stony. Right, you got a you you have a stony heart. Meaning that sin is always in your mind. You sin is always is, is ever present with you. All right. That's why the scripture says, let not your iniquities lift up themselves, and let not your uh uh burdens weigh you down, roughly paraphrasing. It says a just man falls seven times, but get back up again. All right. Continually be with a godly man who will tarry with you if you miscarry. So it's telling you that, look, you're going to fall, but keep fighting and be better. Because it's, it's rehearsal. It's, 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 it's practice. But you got to give it your all in rehearsal and practice in hopes that you don't get cut. Cause you can be, you can be, you know, a superstar. But if you ain't trying your best, the, the coach will bench you and sit you down. Cause of your arrogance. All right. So back to when I was uh, brought up the scripture, uh, the keeping of her laws is the assurance of incorruption, and you got to keep all of them. All right. That's why the new covenant, the Lord, what. He's going to download the, the statutes, laws, and commandments in us as a nation. All right? Uh, what's that? Uh, Ezekiel 11. Uh, let me see. Ezekiel 11. I just had it. Ezekiel 11. In the, you can perfect this flesh. Man, nigga, that nigga is crazy. <laughs> nigga, what? And okay, and um, you they doing the way with they un they doing the way with your Howard shot basically. Let me see. You you can't perfect this flesh. Let me see. I just had it. Ezekiel 11, okay. Okay, I'm just going to get to the point. Uh, verse 17, therefore say, thus said the Lord, God, Yahweh, Bashem, Shai, I will even gather you from the people and assemble you out of the countries where ye have been scattered, and I will give you the land of Israel. This is the Lord talking to the Israelites, his people. I'm going to collect you from everywhere I scattered you, and I'm going to put you in your land. And they shall come thither, and they shall take away all the detestable things and all the abominations that were from thence. So the Lord talking to us as a nation of people. All right. So we're not going to be idolaters. Right. He says, and I will give them one heart and I will put a new spirit within you and I will take the stony heart out of their flesh. So he's going to take the stony heart away from us that he gave to us. That stony heart was that ability to go off and die. And we'll give them a heart of flesh. Now you see that that's a that's a colon, that's a colon right there. Now the verse twenty going to continue talking about that heart of flesh. Look, it says, and will give them a heart of flesh that they may walk in my statutes and keep my ordinances and do them, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God. See, so that was always the agreement. The contract was, look, I'll be your God. You'll be my people. This is the, the statutes, laws, and the commandments that combines us. All right. 
that connects us. All right, this is, you know, so the agreement never changed. It's just how do you, how it's carried out. Now, the Lord going to take away the stony heart and give us the fleshy heart. Your heart means your mind. So our mind is going to be, we're going to have, we're going to be totally perfect. And the ways of the Lord, his, his law, statutes and commandments, that's what the definition of perfection. Any deviation in any direction, in any degree, no matter how minute, it's, it's flawed. So for him to say you could perfect his flesh, that uh, he don't know what he's talking about because any any anything you go off is flawed. If he go out and and and, and touch something that a woman on her cycle touched, then he's unclean. All right. So he can't touch nothing. Look, in America, American society, he can't touch nothing. He can't go out to eat. He can't go run errands, pay bills. You don't know. It's, it's too. Come on, bro. It's, it's just too much. Anyway, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the whole free let. All praise is glory and honor unto Yahweh. Bashim Yahweh Shai. Bashim Kakodash Shalom.